Hey everybody, welcome to a really quick video. Um, I didn't realize I was a little under here, but I was still rocking Plex Meta Manager and Docker and Plex Image Cleanup. And I was noticing, oh, some things aren't working. What the heck? And then I noticed this like huge error under Plex Meta Manager and I was like, okay, something's up here. There's some kind of decoder error, some crazy stuff going on. And uh, just for uh, kicks and giggles, I checked out the Docker Hub for MyZNate, and turns out it, it, it's it's no longer it's no longer a thing. And Docker does not auto update. So this video is for people who want to go from Plex Meta Manager to Cometa. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go under Docker, and you're going to remove everything. Okay, you're going to remove uh, Plex Meta Manager. And it's going to bring up a dialog says also remove images. You hit yes, remove that, remove Plex image cleanup. Okay. Once you're done that, we're going to do this rest, rest of this stuff together. We're going to check under apps and now we can see Cometa. We're not going to do Linux server. Please stick to the original repo. We're going to do Sohi Jiro's repo latest, uh, or, you know, we could choose our branch here. I'm going to choose develop and then we're going to make sure to change the network type to media server. You can notice that now it says, uh, you know, this is the app data. What you want to do on the left here, you can see my folders. Okay. What you want to do is under the app data, you want to change your Plex dash meta dash manager folder and rename it to Cometa. And that's what I did here. I just renamed it to Cometa and I'm going to do the same thing with Plex image cleanup. Actually, I'm just going to call it image main. I'm assuming that that's, what that will be now called. So now we don't no longer have uh, Plex image cleanup and we no longer have Plex meta manager. Now for all this stuff here, you want to utilize your, either if you're using app data backup plugin or whatever, you want to find what's known as the container template. All containers in Unraid have what's known as a template.xml file, which is essentially labeled after the, as you can see right here, labeled after the, um, the containers, Plex image cleanup, etc. So if I were to open Plex image cleanup.xml, we can see here that it's essentially like a glorified version of the, basically what you see here. So what we're first going to do is we're going to just very simply uninstall the Docker, reinstall this one, and we'll keep the config the same. Or we can, what we can just do is we could try to recreate. I mean, that might actually be easier. Maybe the developer changed certain things. So there's really no way to use this XML other than to just, you know, quickly recreate stuff that you know perhaps it's not lining up here so for plex media server here or plex meta manager i'm going to open that up here and just kind of see what what i got so i'm probably going to block out any tokens but really what we have is very similar stuff here and we're going to go, go down and so this will be a good chance for you guys to also see what i've done here so first thing that we we do is the config directory Okay, so we can kind of see config name, config name. These are these things on the left. So I have something called config directory like that. I also define something called the assets directory under data slash assets. Okay, so I that's not a part of this template. So we're going to have to add that in there. So I'm, I'm essentially just re really trying to recreate uh, this whole thing without essentially, uh, you know, there's no way to really tra translate it automatically. So we're going to have to manually recreate all that, which is a little, which is a little annoying, but it's okay. We'll, we'll get through it together. So assets directory. And the reason I define the assets directory again, watch the Plex uh, Cometa video, Cometa guide video. But again, this is just a way to really, um, define the assets directory for Plex Meta Manager so that it can then be utilized under the config.yml, okay? So we, we have to define uh, essentially what our host path is, what our 
container path is. That way it, we can just put forward slash data, forward slash assets. And then we remember we, we use something called consistent, uh, you know, consistent and persistent paths that we've learned in the two sonar, two radar video. Okay. So now that that's done, default will leave empty. Type is the path, display, da, 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 da. Okay, I think, did it, is there any description? Did I put a description? No. We add that right in there, and it should be somewhere here at the top. There it is. Then we're just going to kind of see if there's anything else. Now, and then we see run immediately. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing config location. So, yeah, config file. PMM config, specify the location of the configuration YAML file here. Uh, did I have, did I set that for anything? Again, you can just use a screenshot. I'm just kind of using the template here. You're certainly free to just take a screenshot of yours and just kind of work off of that. So it's still RepoPlex Meta Manager develop. So we got to switch it to Cometa, Cometa team right here. And then we could see it was pushed by my snake. Okay, we're just gonna hit apply. And now this will install the Cometa stuff. And it should automatically do that under app data. And we should be good to go. Once that's installed, should not be anything super crazy. And we're just gonna do this together. And I figured, hey, why not? Why not make a video out of it, you know? Who knows? There we go. Comment is done. Go to Docker real quick. Let's go ahead and find it. It's at the top, of course. Logs. We're good. No errors. That's good. We can move that down later. So now let's do image made. And I'm pretty sure if I now type it in, it should just show up. Oh, oh. Okay, so image remade is not showing up. Very interesting. So let's check maybe. Yeah, oh yeah, Plex image. Okay, so we have reached a little bit of a pinnacle. <laughs> a little, little point of contention here. We don't have we don't have uh, essentially something where it's like, oh, you know, we don't really have that in the works. So, so the only one on Unraid right now is just Cometa. There is no, there is nothing for that. And I, I believe Plex Image Cleanup wasn't even, you know, I'm pretty sure Plex Image Cleanup also was, maybe it was. Yeah, no, Plex Image Cleanup was on, on the store. It is no longer on the store. So it is no longer. So once we uninstalled it, it's gone. Yeah, it's just, it, it's, it's, poof, it's gone. I mean, it's still there, but uh, we could reinstall this. And I think, um, let's, let's, let's see if I reinstall this. Okay, so we're just, if you have Plex Image Cleanup already in your thing, we will reinstall it like that. If you don't have it, then what you're gonna wanna probably do is create the Docker container and you're gonna wanna use these 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 variables here. So I'm gonna hit advance just so you guys can see. And once again, I did actually show that XML in it before, but you're gonna just kind of create these. But instead of Plex Image Cleanup latest, we're just gonna change it. We're not gonna do, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do Cometa Image Made right here. So now it's no longer MySnate, okay. And we're also gonna change the Docker Hub registry. So what does the registry look like? Well, it's simply dash R dash Kometa image made. So copy that there and install that there. See how that, the, how that changed very evenly. Uh, we're gonna call this image made cleans up Plex, uh, let's just change it. You're made for Plex. Cleans up images when you aren't home. Very easy. I, you know, I feel like there should be like a new icon. Maybe there is a new icon, but we'll just use the same icon that, you know, I, I, I'm just using the bull moose icon. 
and we're going to also just change the this uh, right here image made we're gonna leave the plex path container there image made okay and PIC config let's just call this image made config I'm just I'm just changing out the template that I had very straightforward very easy boom bam apply so now what's gonna happen is it's gonna pull ooh ooh gosh you guys that did not work oh my oh my oh goodness I wasn't I really didn't think it was gonna not work <laughs> But you know what? You got to be ready for anything. And I think what happened was I may. Oh, yeah. I think I know what I did wrong, maybe. Anyways, let's change the Docker Hub here. Come out of team. Uh, let's do. Oh, you know, that's where I messed up. That's where I messed up. I must have not. I must have not put develop. Right? I feel like I may have just forgotten to put develop. Uh image made cleans up your images when you aren't home yeah let's tr let's 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 try that let's try that let's apply it there we go okay that's better goodness i must have messed up. i'm gonna leave this error in the video because it's really funny but yeah i clearly messed up somewhere and that's okay these things happen so now we can see that it's 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 doing what it needs to. Uh, it recognized the app data, uh, the host path, image made. Everything's good to go. Let's hit done here. And now let's go back to Docker. We should see two icons at the top. Let's hit logs here. Make sure. Yeah, there we go. Every image made, continuous scheduled. Okay, guys. And so that's pretty much it. Very so short. Very sweet. And again, just if, if it seemed a little too fast, just rewatch the video. Take care, guys. Bye.